With these reusable tools, you can remotely control anything you want. We have a motor, an electronic speed controller, a battery, servos, a radio receiver, and a radio transmitter for you to tell everything else what to do. But what are these components and how do they all work together? This is one of the major learning curves in RC. Being that RC stands for radio control, the radio system is what makes RC hobbies and projects possible. The transmitter transmits radio signals to the receiver. Both are digitally bound to each other in a 2.4 GHz system. Both the transmitter and the receiver need their own sources of power. It does not matter which channel on the receiver the power is supplied to. They also have different channels, which is how the transmitter tells the receiver to do different things. For example, if I plug a servo into channel 1, this physical lever on the transmitter will tell the servo to move, while no other controls have an effect. I can plug any component into any channel. This could be a joystick, or a knob, or even a switch. Each corresponds to one channel on the receiver. On my tactic radio system, the controls that link to the receiver channels go like this. Channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The pins on the receiver are ground, power, and signal. They match up to the ground, power, and signal wires of a servo wire, which for whatever reason seems to come in two different color codes. If you plug something in the wrong way, it won't hurt anything, it just won't work. On most transmitters, each channel can be reversed, and the neutral point can be moved around with the trim buttons. While the speed controller is typically connected to the up and down channel on the left joystick, I could have any channel control it. You could use the extra channels to say, open a hatch or drop things, or you could even use it to control different things like this relay switch. Servos basically just move back and forth and are used to move control surfaces like a rudder. Or maybe steering on a car. The lever arm on top can be removed and put back on at a different angle. And that's actually all you need to control a glider or even an airplane with a gas engine. But if you want electric propulsion, you'll need a bigger battery, a motor, and a speed controller. LiPo batteries are by far the most popular, and this 3-cell LiPo battery produces a nominal 11.1 volts. And it gets plugged right into the ESC. ESC stands for Electronic Speed Controller. Basically, it uses the signal from the receiver to tell it how fast to make the motor go. So, this is how the power flows. The battery power goes to the ESC, which it uses to control the motor. A separate circuit inside the ESC sends 5 volts to power the receiver and the servos. This circuit is called a battery eliminator circuit, and most small ESCs have them. Since the receiver and the servos run off of 5 volts, this circuit takes our battery's higher voltage and turns it into a constant 5 volts to power the other stuff. This motor is a brushless DC outrunner. These three wires plug into the ESC. It does not matter which order they are in. Switching any two wires will make the motor spin the other direction. So there you have it. That's an overview on how all this stuff fits together. The best way to learn is to just play with it. The freedom of designing and building your own ideas into life is awesome. It's a great balance between challenge and reward. One of the first things I made when figuring this stuff out was a simple sled. I think a great first project to figure this stuff out would be one like that. But how do you know what to buy? Picking equipment that is compatible with each other is super confusing. All the special terms and specifications is mind-boggling, and a lot of this stuff also doesn't come with a connector soldered on. So here's a link on screen and in the description on how to solder connectors. Also, here is how to choose a power system. And here are links to learn more about each component. I plan to eventually do my own video on each. So I guess we're gonna have to find somewhere else to like sleep tonight.